So good evening, Beta. So now in today's session, we will do uh, part 1.4 of Sid Seder and Hamlet, right? Now in 1.4, we are going to go ahead and talk about the real number system. So to begin with, Beta, let us try to understand what are natural numbers. All positive numbers starting from 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on, they are called as natural numbers. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on, natural numbers both then. Natural numbers are represented using the alphabet N. Then we have whole numbers. If in these natural numbers, I just include 0, that means 0 and all natural numbers, 0, then 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. Then it, become whole. it becomes whole. So what are whole numbers? Natural numbers along with 0 becomes whole numbers. So your whole numbers will be 0, 1, 2 and so on. Then we have integers beta. Negative numbers, 0, positive numbers together are called as integers. Achha, whole numbers are represented in various terms and mostly by W. Right? Integers are represented by Z. Right? Sometimes, achha, we will talk about it. Thodi dera baat karte. Okay. So, integers are negative numbers, 0 and positive numbers together, they become integers. Integers can be represented on a number line. Man, I can just write it on a number line. Minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. When I will represent it on a number line, then this will be the representation of integers. Then we have rational numbers. Rational numbers are represented by Q. Rational number is anything in P by Q form, Q not equal to 0. P and Q can be any integer, negative or positive. So suppose here P is minus 4, Q is 7. Here P is 3, Q is 4. Here P is 8, Q is 1. So P and Q are integers. Integers can be positive or negative. Remember, Q cannot be 0. I cannot have Q as 0. Okay? Because anything by 0 is not defined. So if I just go ahead and I say P by 0, it will become not defined. Anything by 0 is not defined. So I am saying anything in P by Q form, Q not equal to 0. Okay. Next, we have irrational numbers irrational numbers are those numbers which cannot be written in p by q form bhai jisko p by q q form mein likh paaye what i can write in p by q form is rational what i cannot write in p by q form becomes irrational clear beta so anything that cannot be written in p by q form becomes irrational an example of irrational number is basically root 2 Root 2 is an irrational number. Now, how do I know that something is irrational? For something to be, to be irrational, we want that number to be non-terminating and non-repeating. The decimal should not stop. The decimal should be non-terminating and the decimal should be non-repeating. Dekho the answer. Suppose decimal terminating ho jai. If the decimal is terminating, for example, uh, I tell you a number A is E or let's say X. Suppose I tell you X is equal to 1 by 2. Then this can be written as 0 0.5. Then this is terminating beta. 5 pe khatam. End. Stop. Or this we have written in P by Q form. So this is a rational number. Suppose I write 0 
After five, it is stopped. It is over. Then this is also a rational number, beta. This will be written as four two seven six five divided by. I have written this in p by q form, na? Because it was terminating, tha. Because it was ending, I knew how many zeros to put. मुझे पता था कितने zeros इसपे लगाने हैं. So if it is terminating, it is a rational number. Second आता है repeating. Suppose it is non-terminating. Terminate तो नहीं हो रहा, but it is the same thing. Repeating, 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 repeating. So say for example, zero point six 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 and so on. It is repeating itself, right? Or zero point three 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 three. इसको हम लोग approximately zero point three four करके लिख देते हैं. It is repeating itself. Then these are also rational numbers. ठीक है तो इसमें हम क्या करते हैं ना लेट मी गिव यू एन एग्जाम्पल बहुत 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 बचपन में स्कूल में कभी पढ़ा होगा यू माइट हैव स्टडीड दिस वेरी एलिमेंट्री स्कूल सो व्हाट यू कैन गो हेड एंड डू यू कैन से लेट एक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट थ्री 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 एंड सो ऑन एंड आई विल मल्टीप्लाई दिस विद एक्स विद टेन सो टेन एक्स विल बिकम थ्री पॉइंट थ्री 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 एंड सो ऑन The number of threes here and here are infinite. It is repeating. Repeat, 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 repeat. I will put this as one and this as two, and I will do one minus two. So I will get nine x is equal to three. Right? I will get nine x is equal to three. Clear? Ten x minus x nine x three point three three three. This so x will become three by nine one by three. Clear? This is the rational form of it in p by q form. You can just divide one by three. You will get zero point three 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 three. So for this number, ये number is non-terminating, but it is repeating itself. So this number, it is non-terminating, but repeating. So for a number which is non-terminating, it is non-stopping. I can write this as zero point three bar. It means it is three, 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 three forever. I have been able to represent this as a rational number in p by q form. So if a num number is terminating, अगर तो stop ही हो जाए, it can be represented in p by q form. If it is non-terminating, stop नहीं हो रहा, but it is repeating. Repeat हुए जा रहा है, then also it can be represented in p by q form. I gave example of both. But if a number is non-terminating, non-repeating, then I cannot represent it in the rational form, right? Such numbers are called as irrational number. ठीक, such numbers become irrational number. So for such numbers, you have example like root two. This has this form. See that nothing is repeating, and it doesn't stop. Also, so it is non-terminating, non-repeating. Similarly, pi. This is also non-terminating, non-repeating. Such numbers are called as irrational numbers. Clear? So, beta, here I have just explained this. This is my finite decimal. This is. Terminated examples. Terminating example means fixed. Just a hundred by five gives you twenty terminated. Five by four gives you one point two five terminated. Okay. Then this is an example of non-terminating stop. तो नहीं हो रहा but repeating like this. Hundred by three. This is p by q form. And it has been written as thirty three point three 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 three. So it is non terminating. Stop nahi ora. Repeating itself. It keeps repeating. It can also be represented in p by q. Isko bhi ham represent kar sakte hain. But anything which is non terminating, non repeating, that will be irrational. So anything which is non repeating and non terminating stop bhi nahi ho raha repeat bhi nahi ho raha that cannot be written in the p by q form 
I cannot write that in the p pi q form. Example, root 2 pi, etc. Right? So, these become irrational number. Now, irrational number plus rational number give you real number. And real numbers are represented by r. Real numbers are represented by r. In economics, जैसे हमें किसी कमोडिटी को दिखाने कमोडिटी कंजम्पशन कैन ओनली बी नॉन नेगेटिव है ना लाइक कंजम्पशन ऑफ टीवी इधर यू विल डू जीरो यूनिट और वन यूनिट और टू यूनिट्स एंड सो ऑन यू कैन ओनली डू नॉन नेगेटिव कंजम्पशन तो आर पॉजिटिव रिप्रेजेंट्स दैट यू आर ओनली कंसिडरिंग नॉन नेगेटिव नंबर्स एंड आर प्लस प्लस represents that you are considering strictly positive numbers. Prices are usually strictly positive. Prices ko zero bhi nahi maangte hai. Koi bhi cheez free thodi hai market ke andar. Anything in the market will have some price and price will be strictly positive. Price will not be free. Right? It will not even be zero. So plus plus represents that you are including from zero to infinity. Zero not included. Positive, strictly positive. And this means that 0 to infinity, but 0 is included. I have 0 and I have included all the numbers. That means I am including all non negative numbers. And here I am saying that I am including 0. I am sorry, not including 0. So I am including strictly positive numbers. Clear? Okay. So real number is rational number plus irrational number. That becomes a real number. Okay. Now what we are saying is that any number, any real number can be represented in this form which is plus minus some integer with a decimal point and some digit between 0 to 9. Like for example, if I say minus 1.25, these are digits between 0 to 9 and this is my integer minus 1, right? This is a real number. Then if I say plus 4.8734, these are digits from 0 to 9 and plus 4 is my integer. So any real number, rational or irrational, whether I will say, uh, even if I say this, when I open root 2, this is the opening of root 2. This is an integer and these are numbers between 0 to 9. So any real number, can be definitely written in this format. Clear? Okay. Now we are saying that we can perform any operation on the real number. We can add two real numbers together. We can subtract real numbers. We can multiply real numbers or we can divide real numbers. But remember, no real number can be divided by zero. Because anything by zero is not defined. So division possible here, but we cannot divide any number by zero. Right? So no real number can be divided by zero. Uske alawa, other than that, you can divide it by any number. Clear? So this is how we can go ahead and say this, that we can perform any arithmetic operation, plus, minus, multiplication, division, but no real number can be divided by zero. So for example, I am saying for what value of x is this fraction defined? Any value except x equal to 7. It is not defined for x equal to 7. So it is defined for all real number such that x is not equal to 7. Because when x will be 7 beta, then denominator will become 0. And it is not defined for denominator being equal to 0. Denominator 0 nahi sakta. Denominator cannot be 0. So it is defined for all values of x except denominator equal to 0. Take a beta. So this is how we can go ahead and plot this thing. I have real numbers. Real numbers are represented by r. Right? I have natural numbers represented by n. Whole numbers. Integers. Right? Then I have rational numbers represented by q. Then I have real numbers. Okay. Now, just it is not there in the book, I think, but I will explain to you what is complex numbers. Complex numbers have some real number component plus 
some complex number component to it. This is known as imaginary component. So complex numbers have two components to them. One is the real number and one is the imaginary numbers. For example, if I write 1 plus root 3 iota, then this iota, this is imaginary. Right? And this part is the real part. So a complex number has two parts to it, real and imaginary, and it is represented by C. Okay, but I hope you are clear with this lecture on uh, all the forms of numbers and the number system. We will go ahead and take the next lecture in the next class. Thank you.